In this video tutorial, we are going to cover how to add somebody to the schedule after you've already started racing. One scenario is that you had a racer that showed up late after racing had already started, but you still want to include them in the racing. Another scenario is that maybe you missed passing a racer during check-in, but didn't notice the error until racing had already begun. This video only applies to the pro version of the software, and only if you are scoring by times. This does also assume that you are using either the perfect N or lane rotation schedulers. This procedure will not work if you are scoring by points or are using dynamic scheduling. If you are scoring by points or using dynamic scheduling, your only choices are to throw out the current race results and rebuild your schedule to include that racer. Basically, deleting out the current schedule and then creating a new one. For those that are using time scoring, I will show you a procedure on how you can basically add heats onto the end of the schedule for a late edition. If the software is in timing mode, then press the escape key on the keyboard to get out of that mode. Once you are out of that mode, close the racing screen and go back to the registration tab. If you already have that racer entered into the software, but didn't have them reflected as past inspection, you can find them in the list of racers and go ahead and pass them. If that racer is not in the data file, you can go ahead and add them manually by clicking on the Add button. The software will remind you that racing has already started and you either need to create a new schedule for that race group or add heats for that racer to the existing schedule. Enter the racer's information. Make sure to check the racer is past inspection and then save the racer. Since we don't want to throw out the results for the heats that we have already run, we will modify the current schedule to add that racer in. We can do that over in the Schedules tab or in the Racing screen. Since we are here on the main screen, we will just go over to the Schedules tab to do that. Select the appropriate race group from the list on the left. Over on the right, select the manual scheduling method and click on the Schedule button. In this screen we will add a set of lane rotation heats for this racer to the end of the schedule. To do so, click on the Add Heats button. Find your racer in the list of racers. Move that racer over to the first lane. Make sure that the Generate a set of lane rotation heats box is checked. Now, click on the Save button. When the software asks about adding by racers to the empty lanes, click on the Yes button. The software has created a set of lane rotation heats for that racer, running them down each of the track lanes. The heat count in the upper right of the screen has been updated, and the racer's heat counts have also been updated. When we close this screen, we can see the heats that were added to the end of the schedule. We can go back to the racing screen to run the rest of the schedule, including these newly added heats. As I mentioned earlier, you can add those heats to the schedule from inside the racing screen. You would click on the Manual Heats button to get to the Manual Scheduler. If you are using Master Scheduling, you will need to select the specific race group instead of the Master Schedule option. However, after adding your heats, you can switch back to the master schedule. With the racer added to the schedule, you can go ahead and resume racing. So, that is the procedure for adding an eraser after racing has already started. Since time scoring is being used, it doesn't matter who racers go directly head-to-head -head against, as they are really racing the clock. Adding these heats to the end of the schedule at least allows you to capture times for that racer, so they can be factored into the standings. It can, of course, be boring watching that racer run down each lane of the track all by themselves. However, what you can do is to grab random vehicles to run in the by lanes for each of those heats. Any results from vehicles and by lanes will be ignored by the software, so they will not have any effect on the standings. This concludes our video for adding an eraser after racing has started.